guys, today I'm here with a new series on my channel called Three Looks, One Palette. Essentially, I'm taking one palette and giving you three looks. Today it's going to be like a daytime look, something that is all matte, a little bit warm and rusty, and then the final look is going to be something a little bit more smoky, deeper with a pop of color. The palette in question today is the Urban Decay Naked Heat, which is the latest addition to the Naked family very very hyped up and there's been a million reviews so I'm gonna jump into just chatting about the palette for a second and then we'll get straight into the looks this palette hit the shelves last month and it retails for $66 Canadian $54 American available at Shoppers Drug Mart Sephora online at Urban Decay and what I feel like really sets this palette apart is just the selection they do all fall in the same color family that's what they were going for I think that makes it more foolproof um, and I hope to demonstrate a bit of a variety to you today but what I love is that the other Urban Decay palettes to me the naked palettes lacked matte shades they lacked mid-tone shades and they lacked warm shades so ask and you shall receive I've got it right here there are seven matte shades in this palette and not only are they amazing quality but I think that the variety of shades is fabulous you have anything from a light matte shade to a mid-tone matte to a deep matte making it incredibly versatile you're getting four metallicized shades in here which my only kind of qualm with this palette is I wish that one of the more rusty tones had been subbed out for like a warm gold making this palette even more versatile and then you're getting that one satin shade which I think makes a beautiful base I used it to set my primer today for all of my eye looks and then used it on the inner corner and my brow bone and I have trouble sometimes finding a, a brow bone highlight that's not too shimmery not too stark white not too powdery and this is perfect super super impressed with that shade I know it doesn't look like much but uh, it really really blew me away so I'm gonna go ahead and show you these three looks I have something for the daytime something that is using all the matte shades and then the look that I am wearing right now so let's get into it to start off this look and the other two looks I'm gonna be using the Annabelle eyeshadow primer this just is like a nice creamy matte colored base then going in with the second shade in the palette chaser all over my lid to help smooth things out help things blend better with a fluffy brush I'm using low blow and this is one of those shades I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of in the palette either in the crease all over the lid lower lash line and with a smaller but still fluffy brush I'm using the shade sauced to help blend things out kind of diffuse it a little bit this is a super natural look on my brow bone I'm using the shade ounce and as I mentioned this was a really impressive shade in the palette to me even though it doesn't look like much, it's just really, really easy to use and I'm putting it in my inner corner as well. On the lid, this is a, again another one of my favorite shades in the palette, I believe it's called Lumber, it's spelled R-E though, but it's a really nice rose gold shade so I think it's going to look beautiful on a lot of people. And on the lower lash line, I'm using a combination of Sauced and Low Blow. Using my ever so handy mascara guard to apply the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I have been loving that if you're curious. And on the lips, I'm using the Arbonne Lipstick in Lily and topping it off with the lip gloss in Mimosa. So this is just like a super easy everyday look. I skipped the liner. I only used like four different shadows and I really like the way it turned out. On to look number two. Again, I have primed my eyes and then using ounce all over the lid. Going in with this beautiful shade Cayenne with a fairly fluffy brush, kind of running it in my outer corner across my crease and just creating a little bit of a shape. This is going to be my all matte look and I'm using He Devil all over the lid. I keep going to say like this is my favorite shade in the palette but I really truly love so many of these shades and I probably could have used a brush maybe should have used a brush but I really do tend to favor my fingers when using eyeshadow so going in with that first brush again just blending things out I'm really only using uh, three shades in this look but it is going to be quite warm and smoky these are the kind of looks I really really love using ounce and chaser on my brow bone and then I'm going to go in on my lower lash line with a combination of cayenne and he devil which is what I have on my lid really kind of smoking things out and going back in the inner corner there with a little bit of the ounce and chaser for my waterline I used the Jean-Michel Basquiat liner along with a Jordana liner on my upper lash line just kind of smoked it out it's brown everything I'm using will be listed down below of course the NYX rose brown liner and then I'm following that up with the Tardis lip paint in the shade get it this is basically the kind of look that this palette was made for, warm, rusty, super monotone, and I was really pleased with the way the mattes blended. 
On to the final look, I primed again and used ounce all over the lid and going in with the shade on Fuego in my crease and kind of creating that similar shape that I did in the last look. So crease, outer corner, kind of the outer third of my eye. And then going in with this deep purple shade in ashes, I did have to build this one up a little bit. Purples are always very tricky. I do feel like it does translate quite purple on the lid. I wish it had a little bit more purple in it, um, but I do think it is a beautiful shade and great for deeping up. Not really a shade that I would reach for with these kind of warm rusty shades, but I do like the combination of purple with it. Then again, another one of my favorite shades in the palette. This one really blew me away. I didn't use any kind of extra base or sticky primer, but this is the shade Scorched, and it just had an incredibly foiled look. I used my finger and I do have that base on, but no like glitter glue, no Fix Plus or anything like that. Going back in with the Deep Purple shade Ashes just to help deepen things up because I did kind of go over it a little bit with Scorched. And on my inner corner, I'm using the shade Lumber, which was the shade I used all over my lid in the first look. And back to the brow bone, no surprise there, using the shade Ounce. On my waterline, I actually used a blue liner inspired by the Patrick Star look I saw him do with this palette. And then I used the Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Devious. And for my winged liner, I used the Maybelline Curvitude liner. It's their new liner. I have been really liking that. So those are just three looks that you can use with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Of course, there's a plethora of things that you can do, but those are kind of three ideas that I had in mind and probably the three looks that I would reach for the most. But of course, you can do a million different things. I really do think the palette is versatile. Of course, everything you're gonna, you do is gonna be in that color family, but there are a lot of directions that you can go. So overall, I really, really enjoy this palette. I think that the quality is there for sure. I think that the mattes are nice and powdery, which I enjoy. I definitely prefer a powdery shadow over something that's too dry and stiff. Super blendable. Um, the metallicized shades have a ton of pigment in there and I just think that it's a great palette. So if you were eyeing it and you're a fan of mattes, you're a fan of warm shades, this is definitely um, a winner for sure. Let me know if you enjoyed this series and if you would like to see it in action with some more palettes. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!